Hey guys, welcome back to Hendrickson Family Farm. In today's video, we are going to be doing a uh, Noodle November uh, with Tony from Kettle Kitchen. He is doing a, uh, um, a collaboration with a bunch of channels. Um, I will put a link in the description of all the channels and the dates they're going to be going on. And I'll put a link to Tony's channel in the description. And I'm, I'll try to put a little icon right here. Uh, so you can go visit Tony uh, over at Kettle Kitchen's uh, channel and he'll have a playlist just for all of the other YouTube creators that are in involved in the um, collaboration. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought there. So today's video, we are going to be doing, what's it called, babe? I don't know the name of it. Occasion Chicken Pasta? Cajun, not Cajun, 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 uh, Cajun chicken pasta. Uh, the first thing we're going to have to start with is the chicken. We have to cut the chicken up into strips. We're going to put it in a Ziploc bag, put the Cajun seasoning in there, shake it up, and then we'll cook it in the pan. And then uh, while we're doing that, we'll probably be doing the noodles at the same time, getting them ready. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe not. Know. Well, so I don't know. Well, it's it's a it's a it's gonna be fun because neither one of us has never made it because I haven't either. I found it online and uh, I think her mom makes it occasionally, uh, so it's just something that we really like. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the chicken. So the first step is cutting the chicken into small pieces like Nina's doing here. There's no specific size they need to be. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with. But well, at least that's how we're doing it. It's a good thing someone sharpened that knife on, babe. Mm-hmm. Wish I got an award. So one of the steps Nina also did that you're not seeing right here is she did wash the chicken uh, beforehand because this is uh, pre-bought chicken. So. Store-bought chicken. Store-bought chicken. I, I have a... Uh, my editor is standing right here in front of me, correcting me as I go. Well, it's not like I went out and butchered chicken just so I could do this. Pre. Store-bought. We get the point, babe. <laughs> and then you just trim off anything that you don't want in there. So now Nina is putting the chicken inside of the Ziploc bag. It's recommended to put the chicken in the Ziploc bag and then add your seasoning so it's just easier to coat it. And we're using Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning. <laughs> I bought it because it said that. <laughs> And I don't feel like it's coating it all that well, so. Sometimes you just gotta get your hands in there. I don't remember how much butter it said, so. We're just gonna put some in there. And then just let that get melted down. In the skillet over medium heat, you are gonna saute the chicken until tender. They said, it says about five to seven minutes. So we'll let you know how long it really takes. That's a lot of butter. So while Nina's doing this, I'm gonna start cutting up the peppers and the onions. Uh, I'll take you over there and show you what I'm doing while this is uh, sauteing. So I got the, the green onions and the bell peppers washed. Um, the recipe calls for one green onion, one red uh, bell pepper, and one red bell pepper. Um, 
you can adjust it accordingly to just depending on if you want more peppers in there you want more onions in there it says only a few green onions but we like green onions so we're going to probably put all of those in there hmm that's why my mom showed me how to cut them in the next video we'll be taking him to the er <laughs> Some people are really particular about the seeds in the bell pepper. I'm not. Bell peppers aren't hot. So the scrap pile goes to the chicken, so we don't have anything wasted there. So how's the chicken coming, babe? It's cooking. It definitely needs longer than five to seven minutes. And then what about your other pan that you have here? Oh, so I got a pot of water. I added some salt to it. We're going to bring it to a boil. We're going to add the linguine. And then once it cooks, we will drain it. I hope everybody is admiring the orange countertops. We just have not got to this section of the house to redo it yet. But they are awful pretty. I think everybody knows I was joking, man. Someone apparently liked orange countertops. What? I said someone liked orange countertops or this house wouldn't have orange countertops. They were like diehard OSU fans. Well, but that doesn't explain the green bathroom and the yellow bathroom that we had either. It's because the house was built in the 60s. They just like the color. Yeah. What does tender mean? Soft. Like you can Not cut like it. my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I'd add a, add, a, add a touch more of your seed, your Cajun seasoning. Yeah? Yeah. We like it hot. We like it spicy. Okay, you can have this by chilla. Mmm, mmm. You know you can smell it. That's weird. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna add the green onion. Do you want the white part in there? Yeah, you can throw it in there, it'll be alright. Give it a little flavor. Give it a little flavor. Oh, give it a little flavor. Oh, look at that. Let's, let's, let's get a little zoom in action there. Nina putting the bell pepper on there now. Oh, red bell pepper. You're gonna like bell pepper. You're right, I don't like bell pepper. Go pick it out of the meal later. But I like the flavor. I just don't like the sliminess of the bell pepper. Slimy? It's like cooked onions. I'm not a big fan of cooked onions either, babe. You know this. Yeah, but you don't even eat bell pepper raw. Yeah. Onion. But I'll eat peppers raw, like hot peppers. Yeah. In the recipe, it also um, calls for mushrooms. I didn't put mushrooms in because Mitchell is allergic to them. And well... She needs the little guy! <laughs> we don't want him to go just yet. <laughs> so I didn't put mushrooms in. I would have liked to because I really like mushrooms, but... Something that I just live without now. Sacrifices. Things you do for love, guys. Things you do for love. Why won't this boil? So it calls for uh, garlic powder. I thought I had some at home, but I didn't. I do have garlic salt. So we're just going to use some of that. It calls for an eighth teaspoon. We're just going to put some in there. You really got to stir it in. And then lemon pepper, a fourth of a teaspoon. We'll just put some of that in there too. That wasn't enough. No? No. And I'm not very good at math or measurements, so <laughs> that looks like a lot to me. I think I need more. Yeah. 
I feel a little bit more of that Cajun seasoning in there too. Mitchell, I'm sure there's enough. It's not coated good. And because Mitchell wants me to, we're going to put more Cajun seasoning. The slap your mama. So the linguine that we are using is just something we bought off the shelf. Um, yeah. It almost looks like fettuccine. No, it's smaller. Oh. Linguine is just smaller. And I am going to break it in half. Yeah. Because I always... Look at those muscles. Normally I'd put olive oil in there just to kind of help keep the noodles from sticking, but I didn't have any today. So now I am going to use my heavy whipping cream. Um, the recipe calls for one to one and a half, one to a half cup of this. I'm going to go with one cup and we'll see how much it makes. And if I need more, I need more. One to one and a half? Is that what you said? I think so. Yeah. One to one and a half. It just depends how creamy you want it. Yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna do two. No, 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 no. No? No. Do one and a half. You wanna show oh, what that looks like? Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if I made enough. Yeah, you did. Hey. Hey. Huh. What are you doing here? I'm cooking. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I am cooking. Look at that water boil. It's like my brain right now. I'm not a very good cook, so if I can make this, you can make this. We say that again. Say it again, babe. I'm not a very good cook, so if I can make this, you can make this. I bleed the fifth. Now we're waiting for the noodles to finish. The noodles. The noodles. Oh, yeah. My mom looks more orange than she is. It's because she puts more Cajun seasoning in it. I've been telling you that, Mitchell, but you ain't listening to me. I put a, a half a thing of Slap Your Mama in it. Don't you talk about my mama like that. Cayenne pepper. Oh, you put some of that cayenne pepper in there. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. We're going to add some more of this. Some more what? Slap your mama. Cajun seasoning? Yeah. I don't have a good Cajun accent. I try, but it just doesn't work out. Oh, it's not too spicy. It ain't going to be too spicy. Do you guys throw your noodles on the wall? And see if they stick. We do sometimes. Sometimes? You're talking about you do all the time. No, I don't. There's been a damn noodle on the wall for as long as I can remember. Somewhere. Don't show that part. <laughs> they are not done. I'd recommend having your noodles started a little earlier, but. It's a little dark in here, hey? It always is. It always is. Someone needs to fix the light above his head and then it wouldn't be so dark. It's only been broke for four years. Five years. Four years. It didn't work when we bought the house. Okay, maybe five. Ooh, trying to get it. Trying to get it. Trying to get these guys some good angles. Right here's good. I have it on low. So when we bought this house, we had bought our first house when we got married and we completely remodeled it. Put central heat and air in it, everything. It didn't have central heat and air either. No, it did not. So then we sold that house and bought a different one. Super nice, super, super nice house. Well, we wanted more property. So this one came on the market and we thought, well, if we remodeled one house, we can remodel another. But our kids are older now and they're doing a lot more and a lot more expensive stuff. So we haven't got around to remodeling. Plus, I think we kind of forgot how much time it takes to remodel, like completely remodel a house. So yeah, we can we're a little behind, but hopefully we get it done here 
We, we completely took the first house that we had um, that we bought whenever the kids were babies. Um, Emma, Emma wasn't even born when we bought that other one, was she? No. So we, we bought the other house in, in Perkins where we used to live at and we completely gutted room by room and redid the whole house. Uh, it looked really nice when we when we did it. So we had the intentions of doing that here and we've just gotten so busy and things have gotten a lot more expensive and we just haven't done it. Is that good? Okay, I'm gonna strain it. Really showing it. Why do you shake it like that? Get shake it like a old chicken. <laughs> to get all the water out. I'm gonna add the noodles to my sauce over here. I think you need to do it the other way around. They need to put that no. in here. It's gonna be way too much. I don't know much. if I have too much noodles and not enough sauce. So what she's doing is she's taking out half the noodles and then she's gonna add the sauce into the noodles. Really? The noodles? You want me to scrape that in there, babe? Oh. No. Oh, look at her. I Getting cook on off. my own a lot. Get on. Oh. See, it needed to be more saucy. You were saucy. Didn't listen to me. You don't even have a start up yet. You calm down. Can you even see anything? Yeah. That looks. Voila. This is called Cajun, Cajun chicken linguine is what it's actually called. So guys, thanks for coming with us while we made the, what is it called? Cajun chicken linguine, Cajun chicken Alfredo linguine. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it. We hope you guys give it a, a shot. The girls just came in from just eating a little bit of it and apparently it's pretty hot. Someone kept wanting more seasoning in it. Okay, so that was, we'll say it's my fault. It's okay. So um, do limit your Cajun seasoning unless you do like it spicier. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed and you go check out the rest of the people in the Noodle November um, collaboration that tony from kettle kitchen is hosting um make sure that whenever you go over there to his channel you tell him that hendrickson family farm sent you over there and like always we'll see you next time